so uh, we are going to uh, study today how to draw a realistic hair okay it's not just a normal kind of hair it's going to be a more realistic kind of hair okay i am pretty sure that all of you know how to draw hair how to shade hair you guys have become masters in drawing realistic eyes we have actually learned how to draw realistic eyes we have learned how to draw realistic lips right so one thing that we haven't covered so far is the realistic hair okay once you guys master that also you will be able to draw any kinds of portraits and everything with much realism okay so before we go into the drawing before i teach you the technique okay so let me show you a slide okay in this slide i will show you what are the common mistakes that we usually tend to make and how to do it the right way okay cool okay so let me uh, share my screen right now yeah i hope uh, everybody can see my screen yeah so the topic for today is realistic hair okay so the first thing okay is uh, are you able to see these two images okay so who can tell me what is the difference between these two images so one is a don't and one is a do you can put it up in the chat whatever questions i'm asking you you can just put it up in the chat okay so you have to understand one thing okay hair is not just a bunch of strands okay it's not just some lines so once you draw some lines you're not going to get hair realistic hair okay but if you want to get a realistic hair if you observe here what can you see there's some kind of shading also done right there is some bunch of shadow here and there is some white light here here it is left white and here around it is shaded well right so it depends on the shading that you do also okay it's not just a bunch of lines it depends on the shading that's the first point okay keep the first point in your mind okay now let's look into the next point so next point so one is the don't and one is the right way to do it okay so what do you call this kind of hair girls might know it what do you call this kind of hair a braid right yes very good it's called a braid okay so usually when you are drawing a braid if you observe the first one and the second one what's the difference here so the first one if you see there's a lot of dark outline if you see the outline it is so dark okay but if you see in the correct way can you see the outline the outlines are not very visible right yes okay so remember one thing whenever you are drawing a realistic picture any kind of realistic picture don't make the outlines very dark okay keep the outlines very light if you observe the second picture here there is a lot of shading done and there is no much dark outlines right it's all shaded very nicely and these kind of white white places are done using that eraser pen which i told you okay so let's look at the next image okay now tell me which one is the don't and which one is the do here okay which is the method you are not supposed to do and which is the method you are supposed to do you can put it up in the chat yes it's the right one right so what is the difference that you see here so both so the first person also has used a lot of shading the person has used uh, 8b pencil 4b pencil a lot of shading uh, the person has done okay but doesn't look so good like the second one you know the reason why because the wave if you look at the wave here the person has not drawn the wave properly if you look here the wave or the flow of hair okay it's drawn very nicely very neatly the flow of hair is visible here but here the flow of hair is not that much visible it is dark here just a shading done here criss cross kind of patching and shading is done there with different kinds of pencil but the flow of hair is not very neatly drawn that's the difference between these two hair okay so last tip is this one so the these are the two kinds of hair that we are going to learn today one is the straight hair and one is the wavy kind of hair so these two will be the drawings that we'll be doing today okay so for the first kind of hair that i showed you the first one is a straight hair okay very common one and this is very easy to do anyone will be able to do the second one which is a wavy kind of hair it will be a little bit difficult but then i will tell you what is the technique there okay so let me tell you the technique for the first one okay so these are the steps that you have to follow from right to left you have to follow okay so the first one is don't have to you don't have to draw i will draw and show you just see the steps right now okay keep it in your mind and then we will start okay yeah so these are the steps you have to follow the first one is just you make the outline draw the outline very lightly do the 
light shade. And in the second picture, what can you see? You can see some kind of lines coming here. Okay. And in the middle, it is left white. And in the third picture, what can you see? You can see some more dark shading done. Okay. And the fourth one is the final finished product. You can see some kind of thin hair strands on the edges. It is very dark. And in the middle, it is left a little bit white. So these are the steps you have to follow. Okay. 